Hi there. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a duotone effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle covering the entire document and uh, change the fill color. So let's change it to a shade of blue because blue is good. And uh, before I bring in image, I'd like to ensure that the document is set to RGB. So let's go to file and then document color mode and change the option to RGB. Now, since mine is already RGB, I won't make any changes here. Now, our document is set to invite the image. So let's go to place under file and locate our image and place it on here. You may have noticed that it is a PSD file. However, Illustrator welcomes PSD like its own family. So no worries here. Since I want this image to sit in the bottom of the document, I click and drag it to cover the width of the page. I think the image is looking uh, pretty flat. I guess I need to drag it from the top a bit. This looks perfect now. So with the image selected, click on image trace option on the right. And since we're doing duotone, we'll select shades of gray option here and wait for it to process particularly for slower computers you might have to wait it out as this processing could take a bit once the processing is done you'll find a weird white background appearing behind the image not to worry let's click on the expand button on the right and then click on ungroup and you will find the image being enveloped with jungle selection. You can do a command H to hide it. It's command H for Mac and uh, perhaps control H for PC. This option is, is a toggle basically to, to show or hide edges. Now grab the white arrow and click once on the image and then use the delete key to delete the white background. You might have to press delete more than once to get rid of it completely. And since Mac owners do not really have a delete key, they can use backspace. That should do the job. Now we have the blue background and the image in the shades of gray. So let's use the blending mode to match the tone of the image to the background for the dual tone effect. So with the image selected, click on the opacity on the right to reveal the blending mode and try the blending options there one by one. I think I like the screen option best. You can pick whatever floats your boat. And then I'm going to grab the text tool and make a column filled with text just to give it a feel of a flyer. I think let's change the font color to white because black is not really looking good with a blue background. So select the, the text and change it to white. I think this looks much better. And uh, Perhaps I'll add a title as well. So I guess this is an image of a mosque in Istanbul, Turkey, but I can't really recollect the name of it. So I'll just write something for the title. Maybe mosque in Turkey is good enough. Let's use a thicker font. So change the font to maybe Swiss. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think Swiss 721 should be good. I think that is thick enough. So now we need to select it and uh, increase the font size as well to uh, about that. And let's change the font color to white, much like the text. 
I think we need another column right under the title to balance it and uh, we'll keep the font size slightly bigger than the text on the left to signify the importance of this text I think 14, 18 should be good let's change the font color now to white perfecto this looks nice we need to do just one last thing to give it a feel of an old newspaper cutout we can change the image to half tone so let's go to effect pixelate and color half tone and from here we can just use the existing setting we might have to come back here a few times since this option does not really have a preview feature for reasons unknown to me let me zoom in to show you what I mean when I say old newspaper effect using the half tail. You see there? Now, doesn't that give you the impression of an old newspaper with that grainy texture? Fellas, that's your dual tone first rate illustration. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.